Hey guys, uh, this video is in continuation to the video we had, uh, video series one, uh, where we answered few questions on SAP CFIN. We'll continue with the same topics. Uh, we answered, I think, eight or nine questions in the last session. This session, we take more, more questions now. So as I mentioned, this is the second video. Few more questions we will answer this time. And again, I'll give you a preview of the next set of questions. At the last, at the same time, also, if you have any questions uh, related to CPIN, put it in the video comments at the YouTube, and I will pick up for the next video. So with that, you, your all, all your questions will be answered in a way at some point of time. And at the same time, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and uh, the channel, as well as uh, press the bell icon, because I will be uploading load, more videos on CFIN, so you will get notified as and when the video comes in. Yeah? Let's go ahead. First question. So again, for this topic, uh, what is central finance technical architecture? And these are the same questions in video one, which I promised that I will answer in the next session. So central finance technical architecture. So in central finance, we have a source system and we have CFIN. And then we have a middleware, SLT. I'll, we discussed, uh, I think, briefly about SLT. And we, or we will talk more, uh, but I will just focus on the overall architecture and then we talk about what each system looks like. So if you see source system, CFIN system, from each source system, from the source system can be any other system. Huh? It can be ECC, it can be non-ECC. Uh, we have uh, the data objects like projects, WBS, FI documents, CO documents, and uh, basically CO objects, it's cost objects. Uh, those go out of the system and through SLT, they are get loaded into central finance. And if you see the top part, uh, it's basically project WBS and hierarchy. These are going through I, standard IDOC process. Of course, there is a different namespace, different uh, setup, which has been delivered by SAP. But the traditional IDOC process works here. Same transaction codes work here. So they go to the system, the mapping happens. And then through AIF, you will have AIF as well of any error comes here. And then you have a document uh, uh, objects created in CFIN system. Yeah. And then once master data is there, then you put transaction data, FI load, CO load, SLT, and then it, it gets posted to Universal General. We will talk in detail what Universal General is. Basically, at a high level, it's a one Universal General entry uh, where or a table called AC DOCA where all the objects FI and CO are merged. Uh, different from what what happening in traditional ECC where FI has a separate table and CO has a separate table. This is valid for the real-time replication. When we talk about initial load, it works in a little different way. The objects go same, but the mechanism to pull the documents is a little different. For example, FI documents move through RFC connection, not through SLT. So a little bit different, but mechanism is same. Yeah. Next one, as I just mentioned, SLT. So SLT is System Landscape Transformation. It's a standard SAP tool used as a middleware to send the data from ECC to HANA to S4 for initial load and real-time replication. And for some objects, we use RFC, RFC and for some, we use SLT. Uh, SLT is a standard replication tool, or you can say transformation tool, which can, you can transform the data, you can put rules, you can put filters. Uh, so you can put put your, all your flavors you want in the middle middleware between ECC and S4. And SLT is also used for uh, transformation when you have non-SAP system in scope uh, on the source side. So this is a must to have tool for any CFIN project. Very important part. Yesterday in another, uh, if you remember in another first video, I mentioned uh, mappings. So mapping is very important. Mapping is a functionality where we map cost objects, source system objects, ECC to S4 HANA. And when I mentioning ECC, don't take it only ECC, it can be any source system. Huh? So EC, when I say ECC, assume it is ECC oblique non-SAP system. It can be NS to one or one is to one. Uh, so for example, you can have four cost centers on ECC map to one cost center on CFIN, or it can be one profit center of ECC map to one profit center of CFIN, one vendor of ECC map to one vendor of CFIN or it can be like multiple vendors of ECC map to one vendor of CFIN. So it can be N is to one, it can be one is to one. You have to decide based on business requirement what exactly you want to achieve, how you want to report, 
and what's your data and the data design as well as data strategy and the overall S400 design. So that's very important. It is not a simple decision to take while in any project. You have to think about it uh, very deeply, how future you want to design. Then, then only you can you can take these decisions. It's very important. So we, we have now uh, key mappings and the value mappings. And I would say type of mappings. Uh, so we have key mapping, we have value mapping, uh, and then we have cost object mapping. I'll start from bottom this time. Uh, it's like, uh, what should I say? Cost object mapping, yeah, internal orders, product, production orders, uh, so those objects are mapped. So again, you can have NS to one mapping, uh, one is to one mapping, it, it works a little differently. It is not a simple process, like you load master data, you don't have to load additionally. It's a standard CFIN process which pulls internal orders, so that's why it has given it is given separately yeah and then we go to key mapping and value mapping uh, so key mapping is basically uh, what should we say i will give you an example uh, rather than explaining so key mapping is basically um, company code or or a configurable objects where you have like uh, you know uh, you have company codes you have uh, any like plant, uh, business area. So you have those those kind of objects uh, or a con country code, it can be configurable objects because you have to map company code as well, yeah? Because for example, 1000 in ECC, it has to be mapped to something in, in S4, maybe US001 or uh, US01 or US02 or 1000. It can be anything, but you have to map. And then value mapping is for master data. Customer, vendor, GL account, profit center, cost center, all those fall under value mapping. The reason they are being classified as differently because of the configuration design. What is that? We will talk. So these are the type of mappings and uh, very important part. Uh, they play a very important role in overall mapping. So I will come up with, you know, in one of the session, I will talk how these mappings, work, how can we load the mapping? How can we, you know, delete the mapping, change the mapping? We will, we will talk about it. The next is initial load. So we mentioned that what is initial load? I was talking always about replication, initial load, but what is initial load? Initial load is uh, is like loading of that mass data from particular period, uh, from the past period into CFIN when the project starts. For example, you are, your CFIN project is going live in, in August, 1st August, and then you have a data sitting in January, from January till July end because your fiscal year is January to December. So what your business want is, not, not technology, a business will want is, they will have, they want to have full year reporting in one, from one system. So what you do from January to 31st July, you load all the data one shot, which is a project activity, uh, which is known as initial load. And then from August 1, when your business go live happens, you start replication. So your day by day documents uh, keep on moving as they get posted into ECC, if uh, they or they get in near real time basis, they move to, to central finance. So that's initial load. It happens for uh, FI document. It happens for CO document. It happens for uh, for cost objects. There is a separate video already posted on the channel uh, detailing about what exactly the initial load is. Feel free to, to check that out. And any questions you have on initial load, put it in the video, this video. In the comments, I will answer that. And of course, uh, again, don't forget to like and share and subscribe the video um, because more learning topics are coming up very soon. Replication. I just mentioned uh, from August 1, you will start the replication posting of data from source in the near real time. I would not say real time. It's uh, near real time. Let's be very fair with the technology. Uh, all errors lands in AIF. It, everything passes through AIF because as I mentioned through in the previous slide, uh, that uh, SLT, it passes through SLT, move to AIF. In AIF, you will see success messages if the document is passed or if there is an error. For example, in ECC, you posted a vendor invoice and that vendor is not mapped to any vendor in CFIN. Then that, that uh, document will fail because it will say standard message, vendor does not exist or vendor mapping does not exist. So that, that will be visible in AIF and then you have to create the vendor or existing vendor, map it, reprocess the AIF messages. But we will talk about AIF as well. 
master data important i just mentioned this before uh, coming to this section master data is important because without master data you can't post the transaction master data need to exist for posting vendor invoice customer invoice or a gl document you need to have master data then only you can start transaction data and it's not, not something new in in center finance or s4 it's very traditional way in even in ecc project you need to first create master data and then you post transactions how source system will be managed when new gl is active or not active so sometimes you can have you know you can have for example you have two ecc system in one new gl is active and one new gl is not active then how will you determine or how will you configure things so if the source system can be either in classic gl or a new gl doesn't matter if new gl is active in source then the entry view of the fi document is replicated it will if new gl is active in source yes it the fi view fi document to the gl views uh, entry view is replicated but if it is not active then the replication happens in a different way but there is it's not a limitation that you say okay if new gl is not active i can't move to cfin no it's not like that the mechanism work work in a little different way it can source the in a summary in a nutshell source system can either be classic gl or a new gl yeah let's uh, move ahead is cfin supporting industry specific functionality uh, sorry to mention industry the spelling for industry is wrong um my apologies for that uh, central finance enable functionality is that uh, are industry dependent using standard components uh, so central finance is not a different uh, tool it's a standard sap s4 hana system we just activate a component so in many case if your comp industry function is activated on s4 hana this just by default yes uh, it, uh, it takes over the in cfin as well so in many cases industry specific functionality example reports uh, specific to industry rely on industry dependent data that was replicated by cfin replication scenario for example oil and gas so if you have industry specific function activated or a retail so if you have retail activated your material master will be article master so if you are replicating your article master from ecc to s4 of course it will be available in the report so it takes over what is available in a standard s4 hana system cfin is not something uh, additional system you are building on uh it is just a part of you know additional one function is within s4 hana system one last question very important one and very very latest one is what is a model company uh, sap offered the situation the solution to a lot of customers where they say okay we will give you model company model company is like you know it's de designed per customer type depending on type of industry it's a pre packaged ready to use end to end solution reference solution and it is tailored to an industry or a line of business for example you can say okay for oil and gas this is one for retail it is different for uh, fashion and design fashion management it is different apparel fashion uh, afs industry it comprises of state of art applications and proven best practices uh, and of course it is uh, best practice model company driven approach enables you to reduce cost decrease risk and accelerate adoption using discovery preparation exploration and realization activities SAP model company for finance offers a ready to run comprehensive reference solution for support of SAP finance processes so it's a basically yes in in a summary it's a reference solution which SAP provides saying okay you are in this industry you are in uh, in oil and gas you have a reference solution use it and you build on top of this your own design but yes you use as a reference solution so that you don't have to build right from scratch so that's a model company and it is not something uh, coming uh, you can do it on your own of course sap has to get involved to ensure you get a uh, complete benefits out of model company so that was the last question i think for today let me see yes uh, that's the last question and yes we have already bunch of questions available here how do we deal foreign currency valuations in cfin can we do consolidation of company codes in cfin can we change mapping after initial load so once data is loaded can we change the mapping if yes what what happens how open items are replicated i i just mentioned uh, in one of the topic you can replicate from Jan january to to july in uh, in initial load but what happens to the open item which were open from last year we'll talk about that we post back can we post back to cfin from cfin to source system if i have any change in cfin can i post it back to ecc to ensure both are in sync how can we transfer document to special gl indicator can we run transactions on cfin system is s4 hana or central finance different or it's the same thing 
you must have a view now i just mentioned a couple of times this topic what are the things we need to consider when implementing cfin as a project consultant uh, especially for the people who are working on the project teams and can we connect non sap systems to central finance uh, yes you can connect i can answer this question now but how and what what details we will bring you dot more views so again these questions are coming if you have more questions feel free to answer it put it in the comments i will pick up for sure in the next videos and then we will we will build the series on on your questions so you post questions and i answer and that's how this video series will continue going and going and going but don't forget to like subscribe and to tell your friends share the video and if you have any questions please drop don't 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 miss and none of the question is a stupid question call question is always a valid question feel free to do that thank you have a great time ahead thank you